We're talking about FHA mortgage insurance today. It's just a follow-up video to a video posted just a few days ago about FHA's upfront mortgage insurance. So today we're talking about monthly mortgage insurance on FHA loans. My name is Scott Wynn. I'm a licensed mortgage advisor with the Wynn and Egan team at Citywide Home Loans, where we help Colorado home buyers who are looking to purchase a home with no down payment or low down payment. So FHA mortgage insurance, we're gonna talk about how much it is, we're gonna talk about how it works, we're going to talk about uh, how you get rid of it and potentially ways of how to avoid it, but reasons why you might not even wanna avoid it. So let's jump right in. One of the first things I wanna cover is the acronym. So FHA's mortgage insurance goes by the acronym MIP, which is Mortgage Insurance Premium. You may have seen PMI, which is Conventional's Mortgage Insurance, which stands for private mortgage insurance. So again, today we're talking about FHA's mortgage insurance, so FHA's mortgage insurance premium or MIP. FHA's mortgage insurance is an annual mortgage insurance premium, and the reason it's annual is because of the way in which it's calculated. The mortgage insurance premium is based off of a few different factors. So the first factor is how much you're putting down. Uh, the other is your loan term. So we're talking, let's say, a 30-year versus a 15-year term. And the other is, is the loan amount that you are obtaining if you're in a high-cost area with a uh, very high loan amount. Uh, so here's the chart that FHA has showing what the amount of the monthly mortgage insurance is. As you can see, it shows you the base loan amount, what it is, uh, the loan to value, which is basically the opposite of down payment, uh, what the amount of the MIP or mortgage insurance premium is in terms of basis points, and then the duration as far as how long it stays on the mortgage. Now let's look at the most common scenario uh, first. Uh, the most common situation when people are obtaining FHA financing is a 30-year fixed minimum down payment loan option. So again, if we return back to the chart, what we see here is that in most situations, we're going to have a base loan amount less than or equal to $625,500. We're going to have a loan to value greater than 95%, and we're gonna have a mortgage term uh, of more than 15 years. So in that particular situation, the MIP is 85 basis points, which basically means 0.85% of your loan amount. So here's a quick calculation. So here's a quick calculation. Let's just say that we have a $300,000 mortgage amount. Uh, that's a base loan amount. And we multiply that by 0.85% what we get is an annual amount of 2550 So to determine how much it impacts the monthly payment, we simply divide that by 12 and we get $212.50. Now the next question that typically comes up after we figure out how much the monthly payment is for mortgage insurance is how long do I have to pay it, right? Nobody wants to pay this forever if they can avoid it. Well, with FHA financing on a 30-year term with minimum down payment, you're gonna to have to pay mortgage insurance for the entire term of the mortgage, the entire term. There's no way around it with minimum down payment on FHA financing. The only way to avoid paying monthly mortgage insurance on an FHA loan for the entire length of the mortgage is to put at least a 10% down payment. So would anybody actually ever put 10% down on an FHA loan to avoid mortgage insurance for the life of the loan? I mean. The alternative then is to look at conventional financing, right? So conventional financing with 10% down seems to be the better choice when it comes to uh, getting a loan when you have a 10% down payment. But there's a little bit of a catch. See, with FHA financing, when you qualify for the mortgage, you automatically are approved for the mortgage insurance. And it's always at that 0.85%, assuming you're doing a 30-year fixed with the minimum down payment. Conventional is a little bit different, and that's why it's called PMI with conventional. With conventional financing, that is private mortgage insurance, which means you qualify for the mortgage insurance separate from the mortgage itself. And so therefore there are additional rules and requirements and can be differences in the cost of mortgage insurance based on your qualifications. So just like with FHA, based on the term of your mortgage and the down payment and loan amount can impact the mortgage insurance premium for FHA, well with conventional financing, those will impact it as well, but it will also factor in uh, things like your credit score. And so that is where there may be a benefit of going with FHA's mortgage insurance, even with a 10% down payment in comparison to conventional financing. So let's do a quick comparison real quick. Here's a chart that I pulled up here for today. It's MGIC, which is one of the private mortgage insurance carriers offered, uh, offering mortgage insurance for conventional loans. 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to compare apples to apples as best we can. So with FHA financing, you're looking at a 3.5% down payment. So we're gonna compare to a 3% down conventional loan program. Now, if we do that and we pull up the chart here, what you'll see is we're looking at loan to value between 97 uh, and 95.01 and 97%. And then what you can see is that we're looking at that blue highlight, that 35% coverage row, because that's what's required for a 97% conventional loan. And then we have to look at the credit score. So let's just say that you have a 700 credit score and we're looking at a 3% down conventional loan. Well, you can see that the cost of mortgage insurance is 0.99% in comparison to FHA's 0.85%. If we do the calculation again, what we end up with is a $300,000 loan amount at 0.99%, which is $2,970 per year, which is equal to $247.50 each month compared to the same scenario with FHA financing at 0.85%, which resulted in a monthly mortgage insurance of $212.50. But it can get even worse. Let's say you have a 660 credit score. Using that same chart, what we see is that we have a 1.54% mortgage insurance amount, which is $4,620 per year or $385 a month, which is $172 higher with conventional financing in comparison to FHA financing. Yikes, right? That's a big difference. And that's one of the major reasons why you might wanna consider FHA as a better alternative to conventional depending upon your credit score, especially when it comes to monthly mortgage insurance. Now, obviously, if we can avoid mo monthly mortgage insurance, we should. And there's a couple of ways you can do that. Now, the first uh, way and the most common and most uh, recognized way to avoid mortgage insurance is by putting 20% down. But that's 20% down on a conventional loan. So if you don't qualify for conventional financing for some reason because of either uh, a recent bankruptcy or foreclosure, where you just don't meet the conventional guidelines, you'll have to go with FHA financing. And even with a 20% down payment would require mortgage insurance. If we go back to the chart and we look at FHA financing with 20% down payment on a 30 year fixed, what we can see is that the mortgage insurance is a little bit lower uh, and that the duration of the mortgage insurance is only 11 years. So there are some benefits of putting some additional money down on an FHA loan, both in terms of the cost of mortgage insurance, as well as the amount of time that you have to pay mortgage insurance. But if you have 20% down and you do qualify for conventional financing, conventional is going to be the best bet because you can avoid mortgage insurance completely. Another way to reduce the cost of mortgage insurance, if again, you qualify, would be to look at conventional financing on uh, loan programs such as like the Home Possible or Home Ready program. Uh, with those particular programs, not only do they allow for lower down payments as low as 3% versus the standard 5% down payment on conventional financing, but they also offer reduced cost mortgage insurance, sometimes to a degree that is much better than FHA financing. So that could be a good alternative to uh, at least reduce the cost of monthly mortgage insurance. Now, if you're looking at a 5% down payment uh, and you have good credit, conventional is probably gonna be your best bet uh, depending upon exactly where your credit score is. Uh, if you're looking at conventional with 10% down payment, you're probably going to end up a little bit better in comparison to FHA. But it's always good just to check the numbers and just see where you end up and whether or not that is indeed the best choice for you. I even recorded a video on that exact topic of FHA versus conventional financing, so you might want to check that out. I also recorded a video on uh, the best first-time home buyer programs in 2020, which touches on uh, FHA in comparison to the Home Ready and Home Possible programs, as well as an additional 3% down conventional loan program that you may not even be aware exists. So there you have it, FHA mortgage insurance. Uh, a lot of people say that FHA is a bad loan program because of the mortgage insurance, but as you can see, there are certainly situations where FHA actually becomes a better loan program than conventional financing, depending upon the down payment and credit score you're at and what you're qualifying for on your mortgage. So let me know if you have any questions, post those in the comments below, uh, or if you have an entirely different topic that you'd like an answer to, I may even record a video just like this. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.